Hey y'all, what's going on? I'm here for Black Ink Crew New York Season 5, Episode 6. We started off at the old shop. Uh, sees and you know Walt they're talking about the wedding reception you know oh shit's wedding reception and you know Walt he's still suspect about Nikki you know he like you know uh they only been knowing each other for like what three or four months and already they married and then he's also like you know shit just met her kid at the damn wedding reception you know like what was what up with that like what else could she be hiding you know what I'm saying and sees is like that all you know shit did was replace the white girl that he used to snort up his nose with Nikki and I agree with C's you know when it comes to that because it's like yeah you know what I'm saying like the drugs and the alcohol was you know uh shit's dependency and now his dependency he replaced that with uh his dependency on Nikki and everything you know what I'm saying and it's like I mean what happens if this doesn't work out what you gonna do go back to you know using drugs and alcohol you know what I'm saying like he too depended on this girl you know what I mean but anyway so um Sky she comes in or whatever and talks about the papers that you know shit got served with and how you know uh he threw them in the middle of the street and everything and then if he don't go to court his ass is going to jail and you know Kathy pretty much wants full custody of you know Achilles and everything so you know um Walt is like if this motherfucker wants people to take him seriously he needs to pick up the fucking papers and do what the fuck he gotta do you know what I'm saying so pretty much they vote Walt to be the one to serve him the damn pa to serve oh shit the papers reserve him I should say um so anyways uh moving on from that we get Duchess or whatever she's having an event for, you know uh her swimsuit uh cover i forgot what magazine she said it was for but she you know is giving a speech or whatever about her tattoos and why she has them and you know sees he shows up but he shows up too late he ends up missing the event he got her flowers or whatever she's you know upset and everything which i could understand that you know he could have you know maybe called or text her and let her know like you know hey i'm probably gonna be running late or i don't know you know if i'm be able to make it because you know I got all this going on at the shop and you know um she's like that they don't really spend a lot of time together because of you know both of their businesses and everything and you know um he's like you know if she was in New York more instead of always running down to North Carolina we probably wouldn't be having these issues but you know she was like I said she was upset but she wasn't too upset and you know they uh I guess go to like dinner or something so moving on from that we get shit He's, you know, in um, his apartment with Nikki and everything, or their apartment, I should say, whatever. Uh, Walt, he shows up to pretty much serve him the papers. You know, uh, shit is telling him about, you know, Kathy wanted to move uh, Achilles to the DR or whatever, you know, the Dominican Republic. And, you know, um, pretty much that's why she, you know, did that, you know, with the whole court situation. And then also because, you know, we already know because... He married Nikki and, you know, all this other stuff. So, she's upset about that. And, you know, uh, Walt is like, you know you could go to jail, right? And, you know, soon as, you know, Walt serves in the papers and everything, shit, he gets up into his motherfucking feelings and, you know, sitting him here talking about something, yo, Walt supposed to be my dog or whatever but instead he gonna come up here and reserve me with these papers and everything. Like, fuck him and all this other stuff. And lock himself in the bathroom like a little ass baby. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? See, when you got friends like shit, sometimes you can't keep on holding their motherfucking hand and trying to get them to do the right thing. Sometimes you just got to be like, all right, motherfucker, you want to go to jail? That's on you. You know what I'm saying? Sky should have never picked up the motherfucking paper. She should have left them right on the motherfucking ground the minute that he threw them shits. Or did he throw them or did Nikki throw Either way, one of them threw them. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like you don't care about your kid that that much if you're going to sit up here and throw these papers or whatever pertaining to your kid and, you know, uh, Kathy trying to get full custody of him. Like, seriously? You want to sit up here and get mad at Walt because he's trying to get you to do the right thing? Like I said, friends like him, sometimes you just got to let them, let them fall on their ass hard. If his ass want to go to jail, let his ass go to jail. I'm sorry, like, oh, he just, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all, he just make, like, oh, shit just really pisses me off with the dumb, with the dumb shit that he do, okay? So, um, anyways, um, and how he, and how he always putting, or blaming other people for his shit, for his situations, you know what I'm saying? Like, no, you have nobody to blame but your fucking self, but anyways, 
So, you know, Nikki, she's talking for him and all the stuff, talking about some, you know, it's been going on. You know, this was, this has been going on for a long time and all this other stuff. And then for it to happen at the wedding reception and, you know, Walt is like, look, I understand all that, but y'all don't have to hide from this shit no more. You know what I'm saying? And Nikki is like, you know, nobody's hiding and, you know, um... And that old oh shit, I guess, feels like that, you know, um, anything that he does isn't good enough and all this other stuff. And that the people that's supposed to, you know, be in his corner thinks that, you know, he's a fuck up or it's like fuck him or, you know, whatever the case, you know, may be. And Walt, he's getting pissed off. You know what I'm saying? And you know when Walt gets pissed, it's a fucking problem. You know what I'm saying? Because we rarely seen Walt get like really upset on this show you know what i mean so whenever he gets pissed off yeah it, it, it's fucking serious okay so he's getting pissed off talking about something like what the fuck are you talking about i've been for i've been um here for this nigga for 10 plus years like i was there for him for his gun charge i was there for him through all this other shit or whatever not your motherfucking ass okay you know the way he you know he wasn't directly saying this to her he was saying this in his confessional but still he's like you know i've been there for him for 10 motherfucking years so for him to sit up here and try to act like I, I ain't been here for him or I don't got his back like fuck that I'm over this shit you know what I'm saying like he was pissed off and I think shit came back out the bathroom or whatever but I forgot what the fuck he was talking about and I don't really care but so anyways we get to the new shop and you know Duchess you know um she doesn't work for C's and everything but you know any chance that she's anytime that she's in New York is going to be her chance to, you know, do a tattoo for a client and everything. So she has a client that comes in there or whatever. And as she's doing the tattoo for the client, she's thinking about her ups and downs that she didn't have with C's. So, you know, moving on from that, we uh, get to Sky. She meets with a therapist and everything, something she should have probably been did. And, you know, um, she talks to her about how she hasn't spoken to her mom in months. And, you know, how her mom struggles with bipolar disorder and, you know, um... She just pretty much wants to know that, you know, she's, that, you know, that she's okay and everything. And the therapist is pretty much telling her that, you know, your mom has to learn the consequences of when she doesn't take her medicine and everything. Like, let your mom be her own person and everything. And, you know, Sky, she does say that she fears that she's going to end up like her mom being lonely and, you know, all this other stuff. And, you know, the therapist is like, well, do you feel lonely now? And, you know, she's like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I do feel alone and, you know, I want to have, you know, um... A family and all this other stuff and you know um sky she wants to change her reaction to things but she you know she lets the therapist know that she does like the fight but she's not proud of it and everything and she talks about the fight that she has with tiffany or whatever and it seemed like as if she was trying to put it all on tiffany like it was just her fault as if you ain't been you know uh starting shit with this girl this whole motherfucking time you know what i'm saying but um okay <laughs> you know but um so she comes to the realization that she could fight more and fuck less i mean that she could fight less and fuck more <laughs> i swear like see that's the shit that makes me like sky you know what i'm saying all that other shit that she you know was doing i was i was not feeling that shit at all you know what i'm saying but anyways um so moving on from that we get back to the old shop you know Walt is asking, you know, shit, did he take care of his court situation? And shit is like, you know, you ain't got to worry about that, bro. And Walt was like, you know, well, if the motherfucker ain't worried about it, I ain't worried about the shit neither. You know what I'm saying? And um, next thing you know, they get a package at the door or whatever. Um, I'm not really too sure what the package was. I don't know if it was like a dick motor or something. I'm not, I'm not too sure what the package was, the package was about or whatever. Next thing you know, Mel, she comes in and everything and she finally convinced her dude to let her come back to work. <sighs> whatever. Um, <laughs> and she says that she did have a hard time finding a nanny and everything. And they show her interviewing nannies and stuff like that. And one of the um, people that she was interviewing, she asked her what her zodiac sign was. And they sound like the girl said Aries. And she was like, oh no, you gotta go. And I'm just like, now y'all know I'm an Aries. So I'm just like, I mean, man, what you got against Aries? I, I mean, I mean, what? What? What you got against us? You know what I'm saying? Now I ain't gonna lie. Male Aries, them motherfuckers are arrogant and are fucking cocky as hell okay 
But um, female Aries, I feel like we pretty cool. You know, well, well, I have met some female Aries, some other female Aries that I've had to side eye and be like. But I mean, for the most part, you know, just don't don't you know judge us based on the few. You know what I'm saying? Because you know, I mean, whatever. You know. But I, I move on from that, you know, because, you know, I fucks with male or whatever, whatever. But anyway, so, you know, male, she brought some lady or whatever named Douchey or something like that. I was like, what kind of name is that? <laughs> Douchey? Like, really? You know, but she brought her to, you know, pretty much take out the negative energy of, you know, Teddy and all this other stuff. Because, you know, she still has an issue with Ted or whatever. And so, yeah, she's like, yeah, I need this nigga of energy to, you know, be out of here before I could come back and everything. Sky, she comes in confused as hell or whatever. Like, what the fuck is going on here? You know, douchey all around the shop or whatever, ringing this damn, like, cowbell. And, you know, she's uh, blowing smoke and everything. Or Walt is like, you know, is she trying to get the evil spirits out of here? Is she trying to get us all high? <laughs> and then next thing you know, she's touching all up on Sky and shit. Kind of, you know, like like almost kind of sexual you know what I'm saying touching all up on her and shit or whatever I was just like okay <laughs> you know what I'm saying so um next thing you know uh some well she leaves and everything somebody comes in to get a tattoo from old shit or whatever he's getting you know like a a, a chest piece or whatever uh the guy said that he had like chest surgery and everything and I was just like oh my god I wonder what he had to have chest surgery for and um he says that he has another surgery coming up and all this other stuff. And, you know, um, as Walt, I mean, not Walt, as, you know, oh shit is doing his tattoo. He real, now he want to realize that Walt was right and was trying to look out for him. I said, oh shit, you full of shit. Okay, moving on. Um, we get Sky real quick. You know, her mom calls and tells her that she's back on her meds and that, you know, um, her mom doesn't, you know, she's asking her mom where she's at and everything. Her mom doesn't tell her or whatever, but, you know, tells her not to worry about her and all this other stuff. You know, Sky, she's not really okay with too much not knowing where her mom is at, but she's going to listen to the therapist and, you know, let her mom be her own person. So, next up, we get, uh, we get back to the old shop. Donna <laughs> walks in or whatever, sees this confused as hell because he like, what the fuck is this bitch doing in here? You know what I'm saying? And why is she hugging me? Because she ends up hugging him and all this other stuff. So pretty much she's trying to sell herself, you know, as to why she should come back in. She has this list of clients and all this other stuff that she could bring in. And how she could bring $9,200 into the shop. And, you know, uh, sees, he looks at Sky and he's like, you've been coaching her, haven't you? And, you know, Sky, you know, she's in her confessional. Yeah, so what? I've been coaching the bitch, okay? Like, she need to get up out my motherfucking house, you know? And, um, she only wants, you know, Donna pretty much, you know, we already know she only wants to work in in New York and, you know, with Black Ink crew and, uh, well, with Black Ink and all this other stuff. We also, you know, get a, a scene, a flashback scene where we see, you know, male uh, you know, giving uh, Donna advice as well in, in regards to, you know, getting her job back and everything. And, you know, um, they all are trying to convince him and all this other stuff. Uh, of, of You know, they all, they all are trying to convince C's, you know, to let Donna back and all this other stuff. And, you know, uh, C's is like, when did everybody become such a fan of Donna's work? She must have paid these motherfuckers off before I came in. <laughs> I said, C's is a fool. So anyways, uh, Sky is pretty much trying to make Donna's case and everything. You know, Walt even tried to, you know, insert some shit in there too. To, you know, um, help Donna get back in and everything. And he talks about, you know, uh, he don't need drama and all this other stuff. And Donna comes with a lot of drama. Okay, but do you, did you forget that quick what the fuck Sky been doing since this shit came back on? Like, what the fuck, you know what I'm saying? And all this other shit that, that's been going on, you know what I'm saying, in your shop with Donna not being there? Yeah, Donna is not the only issue here, I'm just saying. But anyway, so, pretty much he hires her back or whatever. He says that Duchess might kill him and this might be against his better judgment, but he gonna, you know, bring her back and everything. 
So, you know, they go out to the club to celebrate, you know, Donna being back or whatever. Uh, Sky even invited, you know, Kitty, you know, the receptionist over at, you know, Caesar's new shop. Uh, there are strippers there, you know, Donna, she's turned and she's making out with the female and all this other stuff. And Donna ends up leaving the club with the female. <laughs> yeah, I know how Donna do. So, uh, we get back to the new shop and, uh, Duchess, she shows up with, like, her sister and I think her brother or something. And her sister wants them to get, like, you know, um, some, you know, matching semicolon tattoos and all this other stuff. And, you know, that's all they, uh, that's all the sister got was, like, the semicolon and everything. And y'all know I have a semicolon tattoo on my back or whatever, those of you who've been watching me for a minute. But I got some shit to go with it, though. I just didn't get the semicolon by itself. But, I mean, you know, whatever. So, anyways, um, a client comes in, you know, wanting the tattoo from Dutch and everything. Kitty tells her that Dutch is, you know, is booked up all day and all this other stuff. And the girl, like, oh, I could wait and everything. And so, uh, the girl is like, I mean, is she tattooing somebody right now? And Kitty is like, I mean, as I just mentioned... She's tattooing somebody right now and she's booked for today. So Kitty goes over to Duchess calling, you know, the girl a rat bird or whatever. And, you know, like I just told her that you were busy and everything. And she's like, can you just go over there and tell this girl that you're booked up and all this other stuff. So come to find out, the girl don't even want a tattoo from Duchess. She wants to take Duchess outside so she could tell Duchess some shit. You know what I'm saying? And so, uh, to tell, you know, to tell her about Caesar. So, um, the sister is like, uh, Dutch, you know her and everything. And the girl, she like, uh, you fucking sees or whatever. And, you know, she's like, we ain't even gotta go there. I'm just like, girl, what? Like, who the fuck is you? You know what I'm saying? So, um, they like, fuck that. They fought, they all go outside to follow behind, you know, Duchess and the girl and everything. And so, you know, the girl's telling Duchess that, you know, um, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to read my notes. She's telling Duchess that, you know, uh, her sister was pregnant by C's and everything. And that she aborted the baby and all this other stuff. And, you know, she's uh, asking Duchess that, you know, did she tell C's to abort the baby and everything. And Duchess, she like, no, nah, I didn't know nothing about, you know, him getting some other girl pregnant and everything. And C's, he like, who you? Who you and all this other stuff? Who your sister and everything? And, you know, um... She, you know, she going, you know, the girl going back and forth with him and all this other stuff. And she like, you know, you playing both of them and all this other stuff. And he like, you know, like, where you know me from? Like, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, oh, you know me and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, man, I wouldn't even uh, fuck with somebody like you or whatever. And I assume he was saying like he wouldn't even associate himself with nobody like her. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, also she was asking him too, why you shake it? Why you shake it? Because he did look. He did look kind of guilty a little bit, but I mean, I and we know that C's has cheated on Duchess before. Um, I don't know, did he get somebody pregnant before too? I know, I, we definitely know that he cheated on her before, but I'm trying to remember if he got somebody pregnant before too. But anyways, you know, she was saying how he couldn't pay for the abort, he couldn't even pay for the abortion. You know, her sister had to pay through Medicaid and all this other stuff. I was like, girl, we ain't need to know all that. <laughs> So anyways, uh, they still going back and forth or whatever. Dutch, she walks away and everything. And he don't know what she talking about. This girl was making a big ass scene or whatever. This, that, and the third. I feel like this bitch just wanted to be on Black Ink Crew. To be quite honest. I feel like she wanted to, you know, she just wanted to get some motherfucking camera time. Now, I don't know how true this shit is or whatever the case may be. Because like I said, C's has a history. But for some reason with this particular situation, I'm not too convinced i'm not too convinced i feel like this was like some setup type of shit you know what i'm saying like i just i don't know y'all let me know how y'all feel about it do you feel like c's did get you know the girl's sister pregnant or do y'all feel like this was some setup type of shit for like a storyline you know like like because i i've seen some people on um vh1's um Facebook page say that they feel like that you know Duchess might have paid this girl you know what I'm saying to say all this because she was looking for a way out from C's and everything I could believe that I could believe that to be true you know what I'm saying if that is true you know what I'm saying you never know but um anyway so um 
Dutch, she's in the bathroom crying and everything, talking about she didn't want to, you know, cry outside and all this other stuff. And, you know, he pulls her to the side saying it's not true and everything, that he can't believe that she would believe this right now. And she's embarrassed and humiliated and all this other bullshit. She, leave, she leaves or whatever and she keeps on saying how she wants to go home. And that was the end of the episode. But, um, y'all tell me y'all thoughts on it. Y'all tell me, you know, what are your thoughts on this particular situation and the rest of the episode as well. Um, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys come back. Hit that bell that's by the subscription button so you guys can get um, updated on all my new videos. And I will see you guys in the next video.